people, this is Sharpay right here, welcome you guys to week 3 of the PMC League Battles. Today we are taking on a fellow Australian in the New York, the New, New York, the New South Wales. I already checked my geography. So we are going ahead and taking on the New South Wales. Go ahead and check out their uh, channel link is in the description down below. If you want to go ahead and see what Pokemon our opponent is going to be bringing to the field today. But let's get right into this, guys. I'm excited. Let's see what we decide to bring for this week. Okay, so we have the Landorus, the Mega Scissor, which I predicted. Uh, Shaman is not there, which is good for our... Uh, which is good for our thing. No Entei, actually. That is actually... And no Lone Nine Tails. Okay, well, thank God I didn't decide to go for the Aurora Veil on my... Um, Aurora Veil on my... Uh, Quagonal. Okay, so looking at his team here, um, there could be a number of different options for me to start things off with. I could start things off with the Ditto to Scout. Or I could start things off with uh, Darmanitan and Scary Up with the Scarf. So I'm going to go ahead and just start things off with Ditto. I think Ditto is a safe bet for the first turn. So best of luck to my opponent. Let's get right into the battle, yeah! And it's another Australian, so you know, it's always cool when you're feeling, uh, facing off against a fellow Australian. Makes scheduling a lot easier because you're in the same time zone, but you know, you do with it what you will. Alright, so first off, we're going to see a Moody come out, and that is the Landorus. So, right off the bat, Landorus is coming out here. Let's go ahead and see what this Landorus wants to do here. And based off his moveset, we could possibly try to figure out what he wants to do here. So, we do see he's Intimidate. We're going to go ahead and, and copy him, and we're going to Intimidate his Landorus. So that actually works out even better for us. Alright, so let's have a look at the moveset you have, dear sir. You have a Smackdown. Smackdown. Earth Power. Knock Off. And Deep Bomb. So he came prepared for, like, Skarmory and the Hazards. So, kudos to you. So something tells me that this is not something tells me this is not going to be a um a choice scarf landerus. Which is good information for us because it means that our Darmanitan will naturally outspeed this. So um looking at what we can do here. So now more likely he could try to go ahead and go for the knockoff. But who could use their on the least? Because having that, uh, having Ditto mirrored, actually having the scarf is actually pretty crucial, especially when we're going up against things like the um, not much, not much so the Mega Scissor, but more so things like the Slurp Path or the uh, the Zerk Tree if it sets up. So I'm going to because I see he he does have um, he does have Smackdown, which is interesting. I think it's for the, obviously the. Um, I think it's meant to be for the uh, the SmackDown. It's supposed to be for the Cryogonal. But we're going to go ahead and bring a Skullipede over here. And let's hope that he, he goes for the knockoff, which is what we predicted. Uh, not bad, not bad. And we're going to see that. Okay, so we naturally outspeed this Landorus. And it is at negative one attack, so I'm pretty sure... We should be good to get at least at least one source answer. Because even intimidate, I'm pretty sure that we should still be able to. So we'll go ahead and go for a source dance. He's probably gonna go for the SmackDown. Um, but here's negative one. He's gonna go for the Z Power. He's gone for Z Power Continental Crush. That is Continental Crush. Oh boy. Well, we found out what this Landorus is, and it is in fact a Z-powered Continental Crush. Wow. <laughs> okay, let me add that to the list. So, um, Landorus kills Scolopede. There is no way Scolopede with Continental Crush. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, holy shit. That was just, that's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy. Holy shit, okay. I knew he was a Z captain, but I didn't think he was gonna have something on to me. Okay. So if I go into Glacius, 
one of two things can happen here. We can go for the Hidden Power Fire, predicting him to swap into the Scissor. Which if he does, it's great if he does. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for the Hidden Power Fire, predicting the swap into Scissor. He does swap out here. Does he bring in the Scissor? Uh, put Denise on, and that is the Scissor. Perfect! So we go for the Hidden Power. And we KO! With the crit- Ooh, that crit- I think that crit did matter. I think that crit did matter. So, Cryogonal kills Scissor with HP Fire. That was actually- that crit I think mattered because I think- I don't know if regular Scissor could handle it, but <laughs> god damn, we managed to land it. Beautiful. I'll have to calc it afterwards to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that crit did matter. I don't know. I ca- I- 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 I did see- and in comes the Garboda. Okay. Now, Garboda, this could be either a Salt Vested, or this could be something, like, devastating. So... Um... Or he could go for Toxic, actually. That's another thing I could consider. So, predicting him to... I just want to see what kind of set he has, though. Because, I mean, we do have an Attack Boosted, um... Attack Boosted, um... Aqua Velva. But we kind of need him to stick around for, obviously, the, um, for the Zerk Tree. Because that's really the big answer, is the Zerk Tree. So, I'm debating whether it's in my best interest to go for the Ice Beam. If I think an Ice Beam can actually do the job. Um, I'm just debating here. Really, I, that's all I can think about right now. I'm going to go ahead and swap into Ditto, so I can go ahead and scout to see what this set is. And maybe make a determination based off that. So in comes the Ditto, we're going to go ahead and copy this Garboda, we're going to get all of the information necessary for this here. So he's going to go ahead and go for Gunk Shot, so we made the perfect call going into Ditto, so we've revealed Gunk Shot. And you can't poison, up. you can't poison me, you can't poison me. Let's see your moves, you have, ah, so he does have Toxic, ah, so he has Gunk Shot, you have Toxic, you have uh, Spikes, and you have Paint Split. Interesting. So this tells me this is like his bulky mon to kind of answer to kind of my heavy hitters. Now, the problem is this gives him a free turn to go ahead and either set up a spikes, which is something I really don't want. But in saying that though, we have information. Should I go for the swap into Aqua Velva? Or should I go for something else? You know what? I think we'll go ahead and go for Aqua Velva, because I feel like he could predict me and go for the um the Toxic, which if he does, I mean, that's good for him. Uh, but he, he's going to go ahead and start one layer of Spikes. So, I did make the call he would go for the Spikes, just because, ideally, unless I'm not a Scarf Ditto, it wouldn't be ideal. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with an Earthquake, and with the attack boost that we have, um, I'm, I hope we can at least get some decent damage. So, we're going to see Toxic go off here, which is fine. I kind of expected to go for Toxic here, because there's nothing really... Unless I'll swap in back and forth, but then I'll be just taking residual damage. So we're going to go ahead and go for an Earthquake on this, um, this Garboda. And let's see how much damage it does. It does a decent hit. It does a very decent hit, though. Now, one of two things is going to happen. Either he's going to swap, or he's going to go for something else. So, what Pokemon could he bring in to answer this? He could either go for the Pain Split, which is not... I think he's going to go for that. If, if anything, I think that's what he's going to do. So... This is actually not a good, ideal situation to be in. So, predicting that, I'm going to go ahead and swap into Glacius, expecting him to go for the um, the pain split. Because, seeing I, I have a lot of health, and this does, does this does dodge the spikes, and he doesn't have a lot of HP, so we are going to see the pain split here. So, luckily, he won't get too much from me, which is fine. I'm okay with that. So. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Life Orb Ice Beam. And let's see how much damage we can get off on this uh, Garboda. It gets not enough. Not enough. And we... It's happening again. It is happening again. What on earth is going on here? What What is happening? Why am I getting so lucky right now? I don't understand. I... <laughs> oh my god. I... Gunk Shot misses. That was so crucial for that to land. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Ice Beam. Um, I'm really sorry, dude. I'm really sorry, but that's Pokemon. I, I, I can't really help that. So, Cryogonal kills Garboda with Ice Beam. And, like I said, Cryogonal checks a lot of his Pokemon. It checks the um, Mr. Test Fight, which is, of course, the Zerkatry. Okay, now this is where things get dicey, because, like I said, the Zerkatry... The reason why we have Zerkatry here is because it can answer well with... Um, against the Quagsire. So I'm going to go ahead and go for an Ice Beam here, expecting this um, to go ahead and go for a setup move like Tail Glow. Uh, we get a decent hit though, and he's going to go ahead and go straight for the Thunderbolt, and that should pretty much guarantee kill on the Glaciers, which it does. He's going to get the Beast Boost. So, uh, Zerkatry kills Cryogonal with uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Okay. So... Looking at this here, he does have plus one special attack. I think we could go ahead and now and swap into Ditto again. The fact that we lost the the um that was pretty crucial. The fact that he missed that that was pretty crazy. My thing is glitching. Uh, I do apologize for that. I don't know why this is happening, guys. Stop. But we can go ahead now. Let's see his moveset. So he did have he did have the energy he did have the energy. I did predict that. Alright, so now that we're, he's at plus one, okay, so what we can do is we can either lock ourselves into energy ball. If we lock ourselves into energy ball, that's fine, but it gives him a plus one. So, what could he possibly do? He could either go for energy ball, he can go for the thunderbolt. He is a plus one. I'm going to. But now the problem is, now that we lost our Zerkatry, we've lost our one immunity. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the energy ball to try to go for the kill. So we go ahead and go for the energy ball. Does it get the kill on this Zerkatry? That it does. Okay, so Zerkatry, uh, so Ditto kills Zerkatry with energy ball. Now he's probably going to swap in um, the Cos the Kamao. I think that he would do that. I just knew he would do that. So let's go ahead now. Okay, at this point, I'm just trying to see what is there going to be the greatest asset to us. So I'm going to swap into. Basically, I need to preserve the Ditto so I can take on whatever he decides to do. So I'm going to go ahead and swap into uh, Mozilla. If he goes for Dragon Dance, I pretty much expected that because it'd be the one thing he could do against me. He's going to go for Drain Punch. That's interesting. Interesting. So, uh, Kamo'o... Kamo'o, where are you? Kamo'o... Oh, 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 Kamo'o. Okay, so Kamo'o has Drain Punch. Interesting. I wonder what he was predicting with that, though. It does make you, it does make you think... I uh, say so, Drain Punch. Okay, so because we naturally our speed, we are in no jeopardy of going ahead and hitting this thing with the Psychic. He's going to go ahead and swap out here, and he's going to bring in a Moody, which is the Landorus. Probably could have got a, a plus one uh, with the Calm Mind, which would have been awesome, but unfortunately we didn't do that. So we're going to go ahead and go for a Psychic. And that's got quite a bit of special bulk on it. So looking at his move, how it has Smackdown or Earth Power, he might go for a knockoff. Um, knockoff, knockoff, knockoff. Who wants a knockoff? Uh, nobody really wants a knockoff. Um, if he goes for knockoff, he d he probably would kill. But do I need? Actually, I do need. I do need. I do actually need you. All right. So I'm going to swap into um, swap into my uh, Darmanitan because at this point I think the we do need the. To check the, 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 I can't talk. Goes for Earth Power. Okay, so this is probably a dead Domanitan. Lives on one HP. <laughs> what the hell? How are we doing this? How are we doing this? How? We're gonna go for a Flare Blitz. We're probably gonna take out this um this Landorus right here that we do. So, um, Darmanitan. Kills 
Landorus with Flare Blitz. And then uh, Darmantan dies to recoil. This is a crazy battle. What is going on here? We live on 1 HP. Crit, Hidden Power, Fire. Misses the Gunk Shot. I reckon that Gunk Shot really, really set things through here. So, um, he's got two Pokemon left. That is the Zerk, that is the, um, the Slurpuff and the Komodo. So who do I think is going to be the biggest answer? So, I'm going to... He probably will go into... He'll probably go into the, um, the Slurpuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do go into Mozilla. Just so I can see what this uh, original name, which is Slurpuff. That is the Slurpuff. Okay. So, the question is, what does the Slurpuff want to do? Does he go for the... If it's Belly Drum, it could be interesting. If it's Belly Drum, but because I have the Scarf Ditto, we should still be able to come out with the W if that's the case. So I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, predicting him to go for a Belly Drum, which he does go for the Belly Drum. We're going to go for the Flamethrower. He's going to get his attack maximized. He's going to go for Flamethrower. And it's not going to get the kill. The berry's going to pop. And he's going to get half its health back. So I pretty much expected that. Oh, the citrus berry. Okay, he doesn't have the... Um... Okay, and this thing is unburned, which means its speed is now doubled. So I don't think we're going to survive this next one. So sadly, Mozilla is going to die. We're going to see a player off come through. Even though it's resisted, it's maximum attack. We're going to die this, so... Um, that was a crit. I don't even think the crit... I think... I don't think the crit would have mattered. It's maximum attack. So slow path kills... Um, so buff kills uh, Del Fox with Play Rough. Okay, and this is where having a Choice Scarf Ditto is going to become so clutch for us because now we're going to have priority because we're plus speed, and now we're going to be maximum attack. But this is the only thing he could have done to get around the scenario. Now the only thing that's going to cost me at this point is if I miss my Play Rough. That is the only thing that's going to cost me in this battle is if I miss Play Rough. So. I'm going to go for the play rough. Let's see if we can land it. If we miss it, he outspeeds. What? I'm missing something here. Doesn't it copy the, the boost? I, I don't understand. Slow path kills Ditto with play rough. I thought when Ditto Impostors it copies everything, but it's faster, so... Okay, apparently it does not bolt, it does not take into account the boosted speed. Apparently not from Unburdened. Um, well that's going to be disappointing, which means now we actually lose this battle. Which is kind of crazy. We actually lose this battle now because of that. Um, he's going to go for Energy Ball, but the Rhino Berry, ladies and gentlemen, the Rhino Berry is going to pop! The Rhino Berry is going to pop right now. Get that special defense drop. That's fine. When the Rhino Berry comes through, we're going to go for an Earthquake. Why did you go for Play Rough? That would have been a guaranteed kill. Quagsire kills Slurpuff with Earthquake. Well, I doubt we can live whatever move he decides to go for now. So, what is going on here? This is such a close battle. Again, it, it just comes down to just the last bit right here. So, I'm going to go for an Ice Punch. He's going to go for Drain Punch. He's going to get the kill. We've got some bulk. I think we can survive one. We do survive one. We do survive one. We're going to go for Ice Punch. Let's see this Ice Punch damage, though. That does absolutely nothing. And we get hit by Rocky Helmet. That is a defensive Komodo. Wow. Okay, so Quagsire dies by Rocky Helmet. And once again, we have a 1-0 loss against us. God damn it, what a piece of shit. <laughs> I have to look that up about the um, the Choice Scarf. I thought Ditto copies everything, including the Unburdened Boost, but uh, apparently not. Apparently it doesn't copy the boost, but um, good game to the Flying Bird and the New South Wales. Sadly, we lose again by one. Again. And... Um, that's going to be a week 3 battle. That was a pretty good battle again. It just... I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know why he decided to go for the energy ball over the player off. But the Rhino Berry came through and it saved us one differential. So, yay. 
Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the button down below because as always, it's a plus very appreciate. Stay tuned for next week's Wi-Fi battle and until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!